like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's your review of AEW Rampage and Dynamite. We commence in the 11th of December if you are in the UK. So it starts off with Orange Cassidy versus Angelico, I believe his name is, for the International Championship in a great match on Rampage. But in the end, no one's beating Freshly Squeezed. Orange Cassidy wins, obviously. Um, Adenon uh, beats some lady. Um, then we have Hobbs and Tonoski taking on Christopher Daniels and Matt Seidel in a great match. But in the end, come on now, no, I ain't being Hobbs and Tonoski as a, as a tag team. That's too dominant. Then in the Continental Classic, the main event of Rampage was Brian Danielson versus Danny Garcia in the Continental Classic match. Really good match. But Danny Garcia put up a really good fight. Some really good resistance there. But come on, no one is beating... Um, Brian Danielson right now. And Brian Danielson obviously gets the victory. Then we go over to Dynamite. So Dynamite starts with Shamar and Joe basically coming out, accusing Hangman Adam Page of being the mask man. Hangman Adam, because he sees, he said he saw beer bottles around a certain brand of beer bottle. It's linked to Hangman. He thought Hangman is involved. So then Hangman comes out, basically said it's not him and stop accusing him. And then um, Roderick Strong comes out and then he basically says it's it has to be MJF look up what's happening, all the evidence leads to MJF. And then Roderick Strong is attacked by Hangman Adam Page. That goes straight into a match with Roderick Strong versus Hangman Adam Page in a great match. But in the end, Hangman wins with loads of interference, but he managed to get the victory. Then we have another Continental Classic match with Andrade versus Brody King in a great match. Go and watch if you haven't seen it. Great match. I'm enjoying this Continental Classic tournament. I think it's great. But in the end, Andrade gets the victory. Then we have um, Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega basically calling out Ricky Starks and Big Bill. They have a back and forth going on. They're cussing at each other, cussing each other out. Um, and basically, in the end of it, Ricky Starks and Big Bill accept the title match at World's Inn. So a tag team title match will happen between the two. Then we have Ruby Soho versus Rio. Uh, Rio just returned from an injury, I believe, but in a great match. But Rio gets the victory. Then we have another Continental Classic match, Roosh versus Jay Lethal. Um, great match. Um, I think Roosh has got some type of doubt injury to his thigh. I'm not sure what's happening there. But regardless, he gets the victory. Then we have another Continental Classic match. Jay White versus Mark Briscoe in a great match. Go and watch it. These two have a long history uh, wrestling each other in ROH. That's Ring of Honor. But in the end, Jay Briscoe gets the victory. Then in the main event of the evening, I've been waiting all week for this match. Um, Swerve Strickland versus John Moxie for the Continental Classic. The person who wins this will have the most points in the league. Um, really good match. It was a solid match. Um, Swerve hit multiple finishes on Moxley. Moxley kicked out. Moxley is one of those people you're not really going to beat. It's really hard to beat Moxley. Um, but in the end, Moxley got the victory by like a roll-up. So it wasn't actually a dominant, dominant. It didn't knock him out flat and get the pin. He got a roll-up pin on Swerve. So that's your review of AEW Rampage and Dynamite. Leave a comment.